Hey everybody, it is Tuesday and it's two o'clock, so that means it is time for Top 5 Tuesday. I'm your host from Crate Insider, Kate Dillon, and I'm so happy to be here. So last week, of course, I was on vacation and we did not have Top 5 Tuesday, which is kind of sad, right? So sorry, <laughs> sorry, but it was actually a good trip. I uh, went to Puerto Rico, had a good time down there. I was just kind of relaxing and chilling out. Well, for the most part, um, I actually do have some news for, for you folks and for everybody, really, is that I, I know a lot of people go on vacation and they love having adventures or they love doing a lot of sightseeing or swimming or just hanging out on the beach. And I did do all of those things. But the other thing, the other big reason I wanted to go on vacation is I just needed like a break to clear my head, figure out what was all of these different things that I do besides Crate Insider, I really wanted to put those together. And so I had the idea for my own website. I've actually had the domain for a little while, but love for you to visit my brand new website that I literally launched yesterday is katedillon.com. So um, I think that there's something there for, I don't wanna say that it's something there for everyone, but I know a lot of you are business owners and so I have some marketing tips. Um, a lot of you are racers. Well, many, of most of you are racers. And uh, of course I have my program, Winning Motorsports Marketing, where I talk about uh, marketing and sponsorships. You can now find all of those videos and I have some free downloads and things that's on my katedillon.com website also. And then also, I just kind of do some random stuff sometimes and that all, all of it goes to my website, my little travel journeys and kind of whatever I want to do, I, I put on my website. So I would love for you to check out my new website. Let me know what you think. And uh, I would love that. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in and let's talk about what we're going to give away this week because, I mean, I did miss a week and I didn't get to give anything away. Makes me sad. So what we are giving away this week is I have this hat right here from my friends over at LSM Racing Products. Love working with LSM. Love their, love their tools and we will talk a little bit more about those. But I have this great hat and all you need to do to enter is just say hi. You can leave an emoticon. Any kind of comment in the comments will enter you in the drawing because at the end of this we're going to use random number generator bring up a random number and whatever like if you're comment number five and I kind of the random number generator picks a five then you win and then I'll get your address and send you send you the hat so just you know say hi in the comments also I love questions so if you have a question you would like me to answer then feel free to drop that into the comments and I will be taking a look at those now I also do a second drawing for any of you who are like the super loyal hardcore top five Tuesday people then I have a second drawing and that drawing is if you remember what my sign said last time which I know it's been a couple weeks but if you remember what my sign said a couple weeks ago drop that in as a comment and we do a separate drawing for that and what we're going to give away this week is one of our crate insider sling grips well it's fine seeing it on the little card but I can show you how it works in action oh my goodness and I'm getting a I'm getting a text message at the same time but it goes in the back of your phone and then oh, look at this it's like magic and I can I can hold my phone you know look mom no hands um, the, uh, I've seen people also put it sideways because then it's easier for them to take selfies like that because their fingers are uh, in the little grippy things. So anyway, that's what we're giving away, our Crate Insider Sling Grips. We do have those on the website. I can't remember how much they are right now because I didn't actually write down the link, but um, you can find them in the fun stuff section. So I've got like apparel and fun stuff, that area of the website, and that's where you'll find their sling grips is what they're called. So with that, I'm going to say hi to some folks here in the comments. Oh my goodness, I definitely see some top fans, some folks who are here week after week after week. I see Daryl and Brad and Danny and Nick and Rusty. I mean, you guys are always here. Mikey, Jason, Bill. I mean, thank you so much for being here. Marshall, uh, Storm. I mean, there's so many of you. So uh, seriously, thank you so much for being here. And I see Danny says, uh, my new website looks great. Got the email about it. Well, and good luck. So thank you. Um, for that and TJ enjoys the blog so I really really appreciate it so thank you for that it means a lot I worked hard on it you know during <laughs> I know it's it's such a me vacation to go do is like go on vacation and build a freaking website I mean who does that right well 
Apparently I do. With that, let's go ahead and jump in to Top 5 Tuesday and talk about our top five products. Oh, actually, I, well, you know what? I'm going to do it at the very end. I was going to do a little demo, but I'm going to do it at the end. So it's kind of going to be a surprise. So this week in the number five spot has been our Klotz oil right here. So our Klotz 1040 oil, it is a 1040 weight. And it's a, we have two oils that we sell on the website. We sell Klotz and we sell Schaefer's. And they really run almost neck and neck with each other most of the time. And the this week it happens to be that the Klotz is it made top five. So here we are in the number five spot. And this is our Klotz 1040 oil. Now it comes 10 in a case. And that case runs 139.90. Now what I can tell you is I never wanted to be a business that will, you know, you have to buy big quantities in order to get better deals. So in fact, if you just want to buy one quart, it's the same price as if you're buying a whole case of them. So if you just need a few quarts or we've got the oil change kits where you get seven quarts of oil and an oil filter, you know, and if that works out better for you, great. It's really all the same price. Um, I just I just want to make sure you get guys get the oil and get it at a fair price. So the Klotz oil in the number five spot. Next up in the number four spot this week, dig into my little pile here, is our Willie's throttle stop and control spring or throttle stop and return spring kit. So this goes onto your carburetor. And they, we have them for a four barrel carburetor or for a two barrel. The four barrel ones we keep in stock and th that's really been the really popular one this week is our throttle stop and return spring kit here from Willie's. And I know it doesn't, it, it would look like a whole lot more of a something if I actually put this on a carburetor. But you know, at the same point, like this is, this is how it comes. And you've got these really strong heavy duty springs right there. Those are really nice and then you've got another spring right here so um very popular item and it's great you can use it on oh and it's got some other other pieces in here too the little bolts um and you can use this on any variety of carburetors uh you know of course we saw a lot of them for like the 4150s but um it would work on you know i, I don't know if it works on other ones other than 4150s i know this is for the four barrel and so this is a great product. So the Willie's Throttle Stop and Return Spring Kit runs $38. All right, next up in the number three spot this week is our Daytona One XL1 Engine Treatment. Now this can be used whether it's, you can use it in your race car, you can use it in your passenger cars, you can use it in your towing vehicles, all of those things and use it as an oil additive. Now, as an oil additive, you kind of have one of two choices. You're either gonna get more horsepower, which is going to happen in your race car, or what I found in my own personal vehicle, because it cuts down on friction, because it lubricates so much better than just the oil by itself, that with that reduced friction, with that reduced heat, I get better gas mileage. And that's what we're seeing in towing vehicles as well. So it can save quite a bit of money on, on fuel when you're being able to, to bring those uh, miles per gallon up. So that's really good. But in a race car, we're really looking at about 2% gain. So I mean, we're you know, it's not the difference between 10th and 1st or anything. But if we're looking for every little thing that we can do, this is a great option. Plus, it not only gives better performance, but it also protects because of course we see a lot of these engines apart and they they look great. So it really, really increases the lubrication, cuts down on heat. Um, I couldn't recommend it. I just really couldn't recommend it strongly enough. And the 64 ounce XL1 runs 75.83. Now also, I'm gonna tell you this, cause I just found this out like, I don't know, half an hour ago, I got a message from Buck from Daytona One and he's down in Florida. That's where Daytona One is. And I'm in North Carolina. And he makes his way up here every once in a while. Well, it looks like he might be up here next week. And we're talking about shooting a video together. So if you have any ideas on what you would like to see for a video with me and Buck, feel free to drop it in as a comment. And, you know, I'll have a replay of this video. So whoever's watching this, if you're watching it on YouTube or whatever, you're getting this in the email. You know, however, if you're not watching this live, no worries. 
just go ahead and send me a comment. You can just, you know, send me a quick email at kate at crateinsider.com with whatever your idea is. Because of course, Buck and I have done a lot of videos together. We've done XL1, we've talked about the 3060 gear oil. Um, I've done the entire series of their tire prep products, even though people yell at me for that one. Um, trying to think of what else. I mean, I've, I've done quite a few on the Daytona one line, but if you have any other things, especially that you would like to see, you know, hey, if he'll be, you know, if, if he does end up making the trip, you know, we're happy to shoot it. So give us those ideas and happy to do that. So that's in the number three spot, the XL1 at $75.83. Next up in the number two spot, and again, I'm showing this how it comes <laughs> it comes to you, is we're looking at the 17 inch race fan. And this one happens to be the four blade version. And so when, with that, you get a hub. So this is a billet aluminum hub. I mean, the machining on this, I absolutely love the machine work that's been done on this hub. It's just, I, I don't know, I just think machine work is the thing of beauty anyway. And then these blades, they'll just um, kind of slide in here. You can see you just line them up with the holes there. And for a four blade, we want to, well, I, I always find it's like good to be able to look at the picture. It does not come with instructions, but I can tell you that you leave two holes open across from each other and one hole across from each other. You'll see what I mean in just a moment if I do this right. There we go. Nothing like trying to get cake putting stuff together. All right, so you'll see it's actually not a perfect plus sign. So what we have is, see how we have two holes at the top and we have two holes at the bottom. And then over here we have one hole and one hole across from each other. And that's how the four blade version goes together. And this can be anything from two blades. It could be three blades, which will be equally spaced or you could have six blades. So it's really a lot of versatility with this fan. And I'm not gonna put the hardware in because it, it's actually a really tight fit. But what I love, it's all aircraft grade um, hardware that goes with this. And, and when you order the, the whole four blade fan, you'll get all of the hardware that goes with it too. And then I love this portion, because as I mentioned, it doesn't necessarily come with directions, except for the fact on the back here, you can see it even tells you torque the nuts to 144 inch pounds. So you know exactly what to do. You're not trying to search for like this magical piece of paper that you can't find. It's just right, it's right there. So it makes it super easy. So that is our four blade race fan. We're really proud to carry this. This happens to be the 17 inch version. And we also have a 19 inch version. So either one, you know, depending on your particular application, the prices are the same. They run 265 for a four blade fan. And that's in the number two spot this week. All right, this brings us to our top spot. And we're gonna do something fun here. Because as you remember, in case you're joining us a little bit later, what we're giving away this week is we have our LSM Racing Products hat that we're giving away. So you can just leave a comment for a chance to win that giveaway. And our second giveaway is our Crate Insider Sling Grip. It would be better if I had the logo up and, you know, a right side up there. <laughs> Welcome to live video. Um, Crate Insider Sling Grip, if you remember what my sign said last week. So there we go. All right, so let's go into the fun part. And in the top spot this week is our valve spring changer from LSM Racing Products. And that's it right here. And this is still, it'll be a, I think it's going to be really tough to try to beat at the fact that it's our most watched video on YouTube is how to change valve springs and it's using this particular tool. And I want to show you something that I normally don't, haven't really talked about a lot and it's not even in the video because I didn't have one at that time. But with when you order the valve spring changer, you have the option of ordering it with the speed handle. So what is the speed handle and why would you need it? Because here with how this works is you're putting this part of the tool onto the rocker stud and then you're, you could use a wrench, you know, to push the valve spring up or down. You know, part of this you could do with your fingers or whatever. Or you can have a speed handle. And with the speed handle, it just slides right on there like that. And then look at that. What? Look at how fast that is. Oh, and you can even make it spin. Look at that. So it's, oh, and if you needed more torque, see it has two holes in it. So if you needed more torque on that, then you could use the other end and like really be able to ramp it down 
obviously I'm just doing this with air so it's not that hard but the speed handle you can order it with your valve spring changer for and it's oh I didn't even say prices yet so the valve spring changer runs 212 or 218.98 and then when you're ordering it we have the option to add the speed handle and the speed handle runs 49.99 or you can also just order the speed handle separately. So that's a, certainly an option as well. So if you maybe already have the valve spring changer and you thought, ah, oh, dude, I'll just use a wrench, it'll be fine. And then later on you're like, ah, oh, but that's super cool and I want one, no big deal. You can totally buy one. So this is, so we kind of get a twofer in our top, like our number one spot here. We get to talk about two products, but our speed handle and our valve spring changer from LSM Racing Products and uh, again, I just, I mean, I seriously love their products. I love what they do. And I've got a lot, a lot of happy customers. I mean, if they didn't make great products, you know, none of the rest of it would matter. It wouldn't matter how cool and nice they were. But, but they do make amazing products and I've got lots of happy customers. So if you haven't had a chance to pick one of these up yet, it really is the perfect tool to use for changing your valve springs. All right, so that brings us to the fun part. I'm gonna take a look at the comments again here, and we will, uh, we're gonna jump into the comments and we're gonna answer any questions, we're gonna do our giveaways and all of that fun stuff. So let's see here. Um, question, how much are 602 Cray motors? A um, couple of different ways you can get those, Earl. I mean, I've got a straight up um, 602. I don't know how much they are off the top of my head, but they're right on our website at crateinsider.com. Click on engines, and I've got a few different options. So if you wanted, it depends on what your rules are and what you can and can't do there. Okay, and um, Bill asks if I found a scratch and dent 604. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, Bill. I, I think that's going to be a hard one to find there. And Rusty, love you too, man. Thank you. Uh, lots of people knowing what the sign says here, and uh, let's see, a ding ding, I have a new text message. Yeah, I just silenced my phone there for a moment. I've got people from all over the place here. Um, let's see, with this hotter weather, do you sell an additive that goes in your cooling system to help with cooling? Yes, I do. Um, that is a great question, Marshall. The one that I really like to sell is called Kool-Aid. It's from Maxima and it's cool it's c-o-o-l and then a-i-d-e and it should be so in crateinsider.com and if you go to the uh, fluids section it'll be um, or i think i might have it in cooling i may have it in both places um, but otherwise it'd be under with the oil and additives or with cooling or you can just look up kool-aid or maxima you can shop by brand and click on maxima and that is a that's a really great coolant to use in your in your radiator there um, lover daytona one products here um, I'm actually I'm going to get the drawing going here because I do have help in the office today. So uh, let's see here. Give me just a moment and then I'll answer some more questions. Great. Okay, there's. Okay, and. Okay. Great. So I'm going to answer some more questions while we find our winners here. And Jason says, have a safe 4th of July. Oh, you know, I forgot to say that to you guys. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm so proud to be American. I'm, I'm, I mean, I really am. I'm hugely proud to be an American. Uh, so grateful to live in this country. And of course, 4th of July is an important holiday for all of us. Of course, there's lots of racing too that goes on with all of that. Um, there we go. And let's see here. Nice tool. And uh, Mikey's daughter, Jaden, says hi. My, please tell Jaden I said hi as well. All right, so the, for our first drawing for our LSM Racing Products hat, our winner is Jason Denny. So Jason, if you would, please send me a private message with your address and I will get that sent out to you. And I'm writing it out down right now. And then for my second drawing, Bill Bach. Hey, Bill, I may not have found a scratch and dent 602, but <laughs> I can send you a sling grip. <laughs> They're not exactly the same thing, but hey, winning is winning, right? It, I swear, it's great. All right, so I do have one, one more thing to ask you guys. And that is, and um, I've been challenged, you know, of course I have my brand new website and, and um, Crate Insider isn't going anywhere. I, I'm doing all my Crate Insider stuff, but I do a lot of other stuff besides Crate Insider. And I've been challenged to invite my friends to my email list. So if you would like to be part of my email list, 
then I will post a link in the comments or you can just send me a private message and just tell me, you know, hey, um, I'd be interested in being on your list. I see many of you already are because you know that I talk about marketing and sponsorships. So if you'd like to be on my personal email list, I, I'd love to add you and I'm extending the invitation so that I can share that with you. So thank you so much for being here. It's great to be back and I will look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at two o'clock for Top 5 Tuesday. Have a great fourth and have a great week.